What's up, guys? Joel Valley from Media Glitch. He comes in so fast, this new switcher. It's I true. like you, though. He needs you on the ball. He does, man. Uh, I, I, Hey, welcome to Media Glitch. I am Joel Valley. And hello, I am Miranda. And okay, he's learning, he's learning, right? We gotta <laughs> cut him some slack. That's he's Joel. Doing, he's the new I'm guy. I'm Miranda. We've got this. We've we, got this figured out. We got that. Oh, there we go. There's Miranda right there. What we're are we doing today, Joel? Okay, so um, I'm gonna use my cheat sheet because I'm like insanely tired. Oh my! I know. I'm sorry, but I didn't. I wanted to get props where props is due. So the developers is uh, Blooper. Was it Blooper Team? What do you think that says? Blooper Team. Blooper Team. Publisher. S for. V. <laughs> That's why I had it because I don't. I don't know what. I don't know. I don't know what the publishers are. But Let's check the video description. But listen, guys. Uh, they sent me a game. I want to thank them, first of all, for sending me a game that took me back. If you haven't watched my Road to Recovery series, how I used to be a drug addict, there's some triggers going on in this game, and I'm talking about The Observer. Let's let's, let's, let's take a look at The Observer at any moment, at any time. Wait. There we go, man. <laughs> the Observer. Uh, this game is basically you, you play... Uh, Daniel Lazarski, detective, right? Okay. And uh, it's actually your Rudger Hauer from uh, what is Blade, uh, Runner. Blade Runner fame, Hubble with a shotgun. Uh, y have you ever seen that? No, but I know what you're talking about. So um, it's all in this like cyberpunk horror world. Um, he's he's got some issues, so he's got to take medication. If you don't take the medication, you start seeing all glitchy and stuff. Yeah. Um, so he has this power, this ability to to to. To like, like get into people's, people's memories yeah. and stuff, like to hook up into them. But uh, the story starts off with uh, your son calls you on the phone. Problem child, I don't know what's going on. There's some daddy father issues. You go to his apartment building and basically the whole, the whole game is set in this huge complex, mm -hmm. apartment complex, I guess you could say. Like Judge Dredd? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, exactly. Um, and you find your son decapitated. Oh my gosh. And that's kind of like, so you're trying to figure out, oh, okay, how did my son die? What's going on? And uh, it's really, really dark. Yeah, it is a dark game. And it's kind of like a click and point uh, uh -oh. type of adventure detective. You have uh, two different kinds of visions. You got electromagnetic vision, which scans like electric devices around you. Oh, wow. Or you have like a bio vision which uh, basically scans biological like evidence and stuff. So you're taking, finding all these clues, you're getting things, see how we're, you analyze stuff, and you're trying to figure out in all honesty, what's in all going life. on. Now this is me streaming it. Life, I streamed the whole game from beginning to end. Yeah. I, uh, uh, it took me about three nights. But man, talk about a popular stream. Every people were coming in there like, "What are you playing, man?" Because it gets bananas. It, it looks gets, cool. It gets so crazy. It's a mind trip, and because you're 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 tapping into these people's brains, and you're seeing like this monsters coming after you, like right here. He gets you. It's game over. Oh, whoa! No, no, kinda no. Kind of reminds me of Nemesis on Resident. There were yeah. actually a couple oh. of uh, parts where it made me jump. You know, which is, is that why the lights are on in your room there? Yeah. Oh, you know, I, I, I'm streaming. I can't be playing in the dark. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, so you can see, like, I played several nights of this game and everyone who came into the stream, they were simply fascinated because it is so weird and so random. And the further you get, the more weird it gets. Look at this. Look at oh what's goodness. going on here. Um, sounds, environment, music, all of it. Oh, my gosh. What's happening right here? I don't want to spoil it. Probably one of the coolest things that's ever happened to me in a game know, in the last dude, 10 years. What, right now, uh, what happens at that moment. That's all I can say because I do not want to spoil oh, it because yeah. it's so awesome. But uh, they, they, the atmosphere is so well done. The music, the score, the sounds, everything is, is really well done. The story, at times you're like, what is going on? It does eventually connect, which is good. Because at first I was like, "There's no way." It feels like lost. They're never gonna. They're never gonna connect. Put the themselves time. into a corner. But they do. They okay. do. Yeah, they didn't write themselves in a corner on this one. And when you do get to the end, I felt satisfied. Oh. You know, I felt really satisfied. I don't know if there's more than one ending, or not. I wasn't able to look up. Um, the game is retailing at twenty nine ninety nine. 
And you played it on PS4, right? I did. I played it on PS4. But it's also available on Steam? On Steam and on Xbox. Oh, okay. So it's got a variety. Yeah, you can find it wherever. Um, it is a great game to stream. It is a great game to play uh, for people and even alone. Yeah. Like, I had a really, really awesome time with this game, and I highly recommend it. $29. Is it worth $29? I think so. I think so. Why? Because of originality. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just like taking a risk. Uh, uh, you don't see cyberpunk horror games just out there like this. Yeah, you know? no, the Blade Runner Silent Hill kind yeah, of yeah, feel yeah. you've got going on there. It's crazy. It, Some a little, a little Eternal Darkness, if you remember that. Oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah. It definitely. Like, And those are the kinds of games. I, like, I, There's a game I, it reminded me of that I, I really like a lot called... Um, Sanitarium was just an old PC game, mm. and I kind of it was kind of I kind of was reminded of that, but man, I had such a good time. I had such a good time, and twenty nine dollars in this day and age where we're getting cookie cutter games sometimes, yeah. and like the, just the same old, same old. It was refreshing to play this game, so I, I recommend it. I highly recommend it. I had a good time. It was fun uh, watching you in the stream. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was awesome. Like, you know, so hey, if you guys want to go check out our stream, it's uh, uh, Twitch TV. Twitch.tv slash Media Glitch. glitch. <laughs> and so um, that's my review. I highly recommend this game. Thank you again to the publishers for sending it uh, to me. That has no effect on my review. You guys know. I'll tell you that the game sucks. I don't care if they send it to me or not. This game was good. But this one didn't. So this one did go not get disappoint. it. So. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that bell. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends about us. We're still trying to hit that. Oh, gosh. Still trying to hit 5, that 5,000. It will happen eventually. Please, guys. Then Cody can take off the mask. I'm begging you. Share, And share. we can let him out of yeah. the basement where we keep him. Yeah, so he's so embarrassed. He doesn't even want to come on the show anymore. Like they're never, they don't want to see my face, obviously. Why am I even part of this crew? Oh my God. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We love you. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye.